Victoria Rose here. I am living in Japan right now. I make adventure YouTube videos. I'm trying to like introduce myself at the beginning of videos in case you guys are new here. If you're new here, welcome. I figured I would show you how I get by in my tiny 18 meter apartment. It's very small, I just moved into it. I made an another apartment tour video of a different apartment that I was living at and it was much bigger than this one. The Japanese people make things super efficient so things don't have to be like that big. I'm going to show you how I live in my little micro apartment. It's kind of like RV living. I've lived in an RV before. Now before anything, my fridge is pretty empty and I figured I would go and get some food. I wanted to take you guys and show you how convenient that is because here there's convenience stores, 7-Elevens, and vending machines everywhere. So I haven't found the grocery store around here yet. As you guys may know, I just moved here. Um, I'm temporarily living here, so I can put the link below of the company that I go through because they're actually really, really good that I found this apartment and you can you can lease it temporarily. I'm leasing this one for a month or two. The last one I leased for a month. It has everything that you need. It's a real apartment. It, com it even comes with like, they give you the towels, they give you detergent, everything like that. So let's begin by going to get some food and putting it in my fridge because I'm hungry and I'm thirsty. I need some water. Uh, I actually have a separate room. Even though this apartment is so small, they're able to fit a lot of different rooms inside of them. So it's pretty interesting. This is basically for the garbage and the shoes and it's right in front of the door. So let me just give you a quick tour of this little area, the walk-in entrance area before we go out. It has a couple pictures on the wall. This is the door to get into the actual apartment. Uh, this is my book bag. This is the garbage right here. This is how they do their garbage, the recyclable, the burnable, the non-burnable. And this is just my suitcase. It has three different suitcases in it and I already unpacked and everything. And this is just some shoes and down here it just has slippers in it, which I don't use. Also, this room is convenient because it has automatic light. So whenever you go into the actual apartment, this just turns off and it turns back on. One thing I don't like about this apartment is that it doesn't have a full length mirror, so I can't really see what I look like, but we're just gonna trust. Again, there's signs and stuff only because this can be an Airbnb or short term apartment renting, which I think you can rent up to like six months or maybe more than that, I don't remember. So I got the goods and a little bit more than I expected to get, but they had a little sale. So I'll show you what I got inside. Let's go. Comment below if you think I should make a pros and cons list of living in Japan. basically the little overview of this tiny apartment. I'm going to show you a little bit more in depth of how things work in here. This apartment, it's super cute. Let's go over what I got at the store real quick 
and maybe eat a little bit and I'll show you the table here and how I do that. I wanted to grab a notebook because I find that it's really, really, really hard for me to stay organized. Comment below if you have a problem with organization because it is one of my weakest points. Like somebody help me, please. I'm not kidding. I really, really need help with organization and planning and structure and focus. I really need that. I find when I put it in my phone, it's just so much harder for me to, like if I have a to-do list, I like to manually check it off with a pen. So the notebooks here are backwards. Um, here, this is normal because they, they open their things the other way. I don't know what anything says, but it's just paper. Two, two dollars for both of these. My brain's like, this isn't right, this isn't right. We're going to get organized, guys. Okay, I'll show you what I got for food. I grabbed this for dessert just because it looked interesting and it was in the sale bin. So I'm like, I'll just try it. It's soy and matcha. It's a little cracker or it's a little like biscuit cookie thing. I'm gonna eat this stuff later. I really need to find a grocery store to where I'm not eating like convenience foods again. This is pumpkin salad. They make the best pumpkin here. I eat these like, I eat one of these like every single day. Um, this is pickled plum. It's basically rice and then there's a little thing on the inside. Usually I get seaweed, but lately they only have pickled plum. I just got like a, a rolled omelet thing. It's just like egg. So that's what I got to eat. I know not the healthiest thing in the world. We'll do better later, okay? <laughs> that's my philosophy. I'll do better later. They have a table here and I'm gonna show you how you use that and how the different ways that I could use it. I'm gonna show you how I edit on it and I'm gonna show you how I eat on it. So this is common in Japan to have one of these because it saves space because you can put it away, but it's an actual like little table. It's raining outside. So basically all you gotta do is just extend the legs and it makes a nice size table. You just go like this and you have a table. So for me, I don't really like to sit on the floor. I like to sit on my bed. So I'm just gonna set this up on my bed. Let's put our meal on it. It's so fancy. Come, come, come dine with me. Take one side off, and then the other side. Want some? Here. Okay, it comes wrapped and wrapped. So this is the soy matcha treat that we got here. It's okay. We'll save this stuff for later, but that's basically how I eat. Um, and now I'm going to show you how I edit with this table. I forgot to get the one thing that I need, which was water. I'm so fucking thirsty. <laughs> I like to keep my laptop right here on my bedside just so it's easy to move. Because if I unplug it too much and move it around too much, it will not work. Because it's very, very, very finicky. So, um, the way that I edit is I just have this all plugged in. There's like a, a plug-in thing down here. And I just bring it over here. Oh, fuck, and it got unplugged. I'm gonna like die now. Things aren't always ideal in Victoria's world. Usually I'll sit way more slobbish, like, <laughs> and use this just to edit. So turn on, please. Yeah, this is me editing. Put this back over here. Just kind of slide it on and it's easy. There's just little things that you just pull down. So that is how I eat and edit. I put my microphone down here whenever I need to do a voiceover. I have my iPad for when I want to study or watch movies or whatever. And then down here is just uh, the everything plugged in. And then underneath the bed I stored stuff because there is not a lot of storage here. So I really don't have much stuff. But I don't think I could have any more than that to live here. So it's kind of good. It keeps you kind of a minimalist in a way. I don't want to have too much stuff to weigh me down. Another thing that I got off of my wish list from one of my followers, thank you, is this little ring light. Um, I figured I should downsize because I have a big ring light that I take with me places. And I figured I should downsize that because it's really not convenient to travel with. And if it breaks, the glass is gonna get all over my suitcase. You can put your phone in it. It's just a tiny little ring light. It works for my purposes and it fits in more places. The dirt settings too. So that's my little ring light. Let's do the laundry before we do the kitchen because I actually have to do that. My One of my favorite things about these apartments, and I just realized this, someone commented this the other day, and I realized it when I moved in here, that this washer is not just a washer, it's a washer 
in a dryer, okay? I'm like, my mind is like blown. I'm like, why, why isn't this in America? So I have all my dirty laundry in here. I just throw it in after I get a shower. Convenient, throw it in. Don't have a laundry basket. I'm just going to show you how I do laundry. Okay, we turned it on. <laughs> I still don't really remember very well uh, how th these things work, but uh, yeah, I th this is the go button. So we're just gonna like go with it. I don't remember which one's which, hopefully. I don't know. Okay. And then it starts. And it's already kind of on its own little setting and it works, so I'm not gonna change it. I'm not gonna mess with it. And it takes around two, okay, this is, takes about two hours, but since this is automatic, I never know how long it's gonna run, but it washes and dries and I don't have to do anything else. And I also use the top of this for storage because this is literally the only place I have to put like my makeup and my other stuff like perfume and nail polish and stuff. And this is my makeup bag that I just, um, <laughs> I'll, sh I'll demonstrate how I do my makeup. So this is the light for the bathroom. The bathroom's really cool in itself as well. I'll take it from here and then I'll just kind of like lay it out on the toilet seat. It's kind of what I have to do because I have no other way to do this. And so I have it all and I just kind of flip back and forth and I don't have any other mirror except for this one. And this is in, this is in the shower, but it's also the mirror. So I'll just be like doing my makeup, and I'll bend out over here, get my stuff. I don't know. You make it work, really. So now that we're in the shower, I guess we'll just show you the kitchen last, and I'll show you the shower room. So again, I don't have a lot of space. I put a lot of stuff that is okay to get wet up here. So like, I have my my moisturizer, my lotion, floss, toothpaste, toothbrush, more moisturizer, and then like a primer. And I just put that all in the shower. This whole shower room, everything gets wet, so I have to be careful with what I put in this, but I just need the storage face wash, and then it comes with shampoo and conditioner and body wash, and my razor. And then um, you can flip between this. This is, I don't wanna turn on the wrong one. <laughs> this thing comes out and is a sink, but then you also turn it the other way and it is a shower. And then you have a pool up here probably for drying, Stuff. This thing to turn on the dryer, you can put like your towels in here and it also dehumidifies everything. And then this thing will come on right here, as you see, and it just dries everything out. And you just close it and let it do its work. Yeah. And then the toilet is right beside it. Obviously, I've showed you guys the toilets here before, really nice. You can do the little shower massage and bidet thing. And then up here, Water runs through this, uh, it's clean water, and then you can wash your hands right after um, you flush this, I'll actually demonstrate. When you flush the toilet over here, this just starts automatically running, and you can wash your hands there, I think, I hope. <laughs> and look at this tiny little plunger, it's tiny. The like hand comparison size. I'd say if you're over like 5'10", you're gonna have to duck down. I am 5'4", so the ceiling's like right here. Not a lot of space. I'm gonna show you my closet area and then I'm gonna show you the kitchen and how that works. And then the only closet space I really have, this is the only closet space I really have. So I just like threw a bunch of all my clothes really in there. And then this is like my underwear and socks and stuff. I just threw that in there. I carry around this little thing. I travel with it and just like pop it up. And then I have some jackets, costumes. And then this is all the other stuff like to dry things, iron, tissues, batteries, everything. And that is the only closet space I really have here. So I had to throw away a lot of clothes whenever I left my other apartment. And I keep doing that, I keep throwing things away, which I'm happy about because if I don't wear it, I don't need it. This is another little window. Shoo. I'm sorry about the washer. I don't know why I had to start it right in the middle of the video. I, uh, I need help. Uh, somebody help me. <laughs> this is where I store all my vitamins, proteins, everything up there because again, no storage space. This is the fridge. I have really nothing in it except the stuff I just got. And it has the dishes up there that it comes with. This one only has one little um, range. This is how you turn on the hot water. This turns on the hot water for everything, for this sink and then for the bathroom too. It's kind of the basics of a typical Japanese apartment. It's either $600 or $700, but then there's a cleaning fee on top of that. To make it all together, this costs $1,000, which is much cheaper than my other apartment, which was like $1,300. Um, but the base of this is around like $700, I think. Which is, a, it's not bad for uh, a temporary stay apartment. That's actually really good because because when you stay somewhere temporarily, usually it is more expensive. 
this apartment would probably be a lot cheaper if it wasn't a temporary stay type of deal. Plus they provide you with all the stuff that you need and it's furnished and everything. So it's actually a pretty good price for what you're paying. I hope you enjoyed this how I live my life in a small apartment video slash apartment tour and leave any questions that you have if you have any and I'll try to answer them in the comments. All right, I love you guys very much. Stay extraterrestrial and I'll see you in the next adventure. Okay. Bye.